Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4, 1984. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So we are pushing our way into Africa. Trying as best as we can to, you know, win this war. I think we did end up losing. Yeah, two divisions got encircled. Entirely my fault. Push some troops here. Push some troops here. We are going to engage for the first time with Eurasia. Have some... Well, we're not going to fight them, but we're going to... Um, have a land border with them for the first time. I mean, technically, you have a land border with anybody yet? I don't think so. Yeah, I think we just border right now free Africa. I like how all of Ethiopia is one single state. Okay, yeah, well, we can, we can cut off Somalia. I'd be happy to do. And I want you guys going up north. You fight here. You fight here. But 84 on this. And then push your way down a little bit. Move in. Move in. Move in. Move in. Move in. Engage in some basic combat like that. For now, I think the rest of you... I'm trying, like, none of you really feel that confident. I don't know how much... I guess we can actually check. How many men have we lost on the Asian front? 41,000. How many men have we lost on the Euro European front? Bait zero. How many men have we lost in Africa? 500,000. Okay, cool. We only win 30% of battles. Actually, I'm so used to seeing, like, 60% being bad for me. Okay, so let's see. We have... 11 on that side. We have 8 on the... Do we only have... Oh, because we have these guys over here as well. How many, wait, how many men are on this front? 10. No, if you're already over here, you should stay on this side. But, like, none of you guys really should have that much in terms of supply. Push away to the horn. Purple army here. I think you can begin to do some basic pushes. We also apparently have some troops from Indochina here as well. You know, nice of them to join in. Spirit Fire Power. 41. I mean, again, if we break anywhere, it was going to be the Java Sea first. But it's not that easy. It's just not that easy. And now we're finally having troops ready to go for the Eurasian front. I'm scared of Eurasia. I think they have way more men than we do. So we're going to need to basically cut off the Sahara, guard this front, and guard you, and just pray. <laughs> That's the way I'm looking at this right now. I think everything else is basically suicidal. How are the rest of you guys doing? You can all push in like this. You can push in here. And we've at least secured Southern Africa for ourselves. Eurasia has complete control over the Mediterranean, but I don't think that's going to matter so much in the long run. Like, we just need more guns. We need more guns and more... Not more men. We just need more guns. The manpower situation is completely okay. If we put both of our small navies in here... We're st how how is putting an entire extra navy? This entire extra navy is worth like three percent. Okay, hold, hold. Just stay in position for right now. Tank divisions, send them to Europe. I think the African front's held out. I don't think we need to send more. Oh, Africa's dead. They've capitulated, and I honestly think it gave you guys too much land. But I don't think I can change occupations. Like, this would just give me the state. But, I mean, at this point, I don't think it really matters so much. Who had Idris Ababa? I did. So, I'm going to claim this as myself. I'm basically... I'm giving myself this land. We're still going to have to deal with occupation. So, it's not that bad. But I don't think it makes sense that Eurasia would get this land. 
Because technically right now the game does think that I own this this uh this territory. I will give you um South Africa. I'll let you keep that land, even though I don't think. Yeah, no, I think I think it's basically fine. We're gonna put you over here in Zahara. Prepare an invasion of the north. Purple army is going to go here for now. I think green army is basically going to cover the rest of this land. Green army prepared to push your way up north. Again, okay, it's not like Free Africa is ever going to get territory back. There's no chance in how they ever uh, survive. Yeah, we only want one of you guys to ever deploy. I guess they got their guns. Maybe they didn't get their guns. Maybe I got nothing out of them. Again, I would like to invade you. Anime air spirit. How do they? How many places do they have? Two hundred fifty fighters. No airport actually over here. Yeah, actually, you're gonna actually stay over in this area. How many planes do I have in reserve? Uh, thousands. How many planes? This can only hold. Eh, I mean, fine for right now. I mean, it's not actually fine. We do need to scale you down to... Scale you down to 400 so I can split you in half. One of you is going to go to you. We don't have another airport up here, unfortunately. And I don't think this will cover, so we might as well have you over here. And the rest of the Air Force. i throw you here. Fighters will crank you up to 600. We will deploy some tactical bombers. And then the rest of the tactical bombers are going to deploy over in this airfield. Crank you up to 400. And then you can also fly over the Benelux region. Bobbing the hell out of anything you see. And to me, that makes sense. That makes sense as a initial invasion point. We don't actually still occupy this land. That's fine. But we do have Africa under control. And we have, like, also a trusted tensor tool. 1,000 days on this cipher. Keep on getting more machine uh, encryption. Indochina is not going to last forever. And they're actually, I think, shooting down our aircraft. What if we, okay, send all of these planes into the Straits of Malacca. Delete your previous plans. You also go to Straits of Malacca. Gonna have you guys navally invade if you can. 39.4%. How do they have to, I guess they just have like really good ships, right? They must just have really good ships. Naval hit chance, retreat chance. I mean, just a 10% uh, chance that it's always hit sounds pretty good. If you sank an Indian naval uh, vessel. We're at 45 right now. Again, I would like to at least claim Singapore. It's got a lot of rubber in it. And if we can deny that from East Asia, I think it'll go a long way in our in our war to come. But technically, Africa does still own uh, Sao Tome. Also, I did not even actually turn off State Chancellor Tool. There we go. So have our units in position. It looks like East Asia has not actually, or not East Asia, Eurasia hasn't put any troops here. They might be focusing their entire attention on East Asia, which is completely reasonable. And I would say, here's my, um, actually, well, the Brotherhood, they might still come into effect. I mean, you're at 33 right now. Are you still taking up? You are still taking up. I was going to say we should just annex the Brotherhood to get these guys to white peace out, but maybe East Asia is going to completely fall apart. I mean, yeah, Eurasia's dealt with the um, independence movement. We've dealt with the independence movement. East Asia is actually still having some troubles. 
So maybe we will see them kind of falter. 44.9. I wish we had like a. I guess I can just build, upgrade these airports. Get you up to like level five. Level five is a thousand aircraft, so we're gonna get you up to level five as well. Again, the oil um, refineries. Right now, they're getting us to the one point nine k, which is okay. And luckily, we're we're saving up all of our fuel because in like a few weeks, all out war is about to break up, break out in the world. And it's going to be a disaster for every human being involved. But I think the African front right now is completely within their uh, rights to push in as aggressively as possible into this uh, territory. Because it looks like, yeah, Eurasia, I just don't think it's defending their territory in the uh, the extent that they could. You actually are, let's play you in alpha and half, actually. We can actually send some units over to uh, Europe. We're keeping an 18 stack here for now, but I think that'll basically be it. Um, what do I want? Legacy armored car. We go for research upgrades, which apparently I've never done. We go for nuclear weapons now. Follow that by one more level of excavation and concentrate industry four. Okay, techs are now, they've been chosen. I'm happy with the choices that we've made. We're at 44 point, 45.4. Once our air bases are upgraded, we'll be able to put more planes in. You're already actually up to 600. We might as well crank you up to 600. I don't, have any plane, I don't know how many planes we actually have in reserve right now. How many, how many planes are we building per day? We're making two... We're making two fighters a day. We're making three bombers a day. I think those are pretty good numbers. I will get some more... Uh, Crank you up to 500 for now. Seems okay. Which means that you're going to be at 46. We have 71% boost due to air superiority. I mean, our intel apparently is still garbage. Maybe we actually want to research um, radar. I don't think I've done that. I don't think we have them uh, by default. Okay, yeah. So you're our... Put Humata in charge. You're you're not part of any front. You're just part of the Oceana Theater. And I'm just going to have an alien invasion go from here to the Fear Bunker. And I, I just want to see how many units are actually on that uh, front. I'm assuming it's probably a shit ton. Delete a boat. Close air support. Naval bombers. I mean, they wouldn't be bad. They'd actually probably be pretty good. We'll go for fighters though first. Forty-six point two. Do we have radars? No, we don't. When's our next uh, available technology in eleven days? Okay, after that, we'll build uh, research some radar stations. Throw. Oh, they're actually going to take Singapore soon. Indochina, I think, is pretty close to death. Who's actually left? Yeah, Indonesia. Indonesia is doing okay, but that's because the AI is not really navally invading. They might not have a lot of naval units. That's my best guess. Yeah, and I, I mean, the Brotherhood is still gaining popularity here. The end is here. Bloody but not beaten by recent conflicts. Large formation of the troops are on the move. They gather in ports and along border fortifications. Urging their plans and checking their equipment as they make the last minute preparations for the grand campaign ahead. The armistice will end in a few short days. And at that time, the rule of sea war has seen no equal. Well, that seems like a little threatening. We did sink one destroyer. I don't think we're going to be able to land in Singapore before the... Uh, I mean, I guess we can still we can still keep our naval invasion plan. We're just going to be invading into uh, East Asia instead of Indochina, which I mean, either way, still works. Because you still need to take Saigon, worth five. You need to take Bangkok, and you need to take Singapore. And in fact, I bet you we can put more units on this. Yeah, put the full twenty-four stack on this. And we will then go for basic radar detection. I think that actually could be very useful in this campaign. And now this 50 ship. You are just going to be convoy raiding in this general area. Do we, leave, do we still gain fuel when the Navy is out? The Alliance is announced. Oh, she declared war on us. 
Okay, apparently Eurasia and East Asia decided to form the alliance. And they both went to war with me. Not each other, even though that would be way better for us. Come on now. You really, you're really going to do this to me? Put everything against me right now. At least the African front can now invade. Oh no, there we go. Now they clear war on each other. That's what we wanted to see. 44.5%. The war to end all wars is here. Now Eurasia and East Asia will need to uh, kill each other. Not too sure why they attacked us. You know, a few days for everybody else. And now, we've got to like we gotta decide when do we invade. I'm gonna t I'm gonna give it a month, and then we invade into Europe. I want Eurasia and East Asia to spend all their manpower killing each other. I mean, all their manpower probably is literally like thirty. I mean, we have sixteen million, and we are actually I think the smallest empire in terms of population. So I'm pretty sure they might have like a hundred million troops each. Like how the how the hell do you fight that? I don't know. I could not begin to even tell you. Do I have a small little fleet? I'm gonna cut off like what's that one ship I had? You might have got sunk. I'm gonna create a yeah a new task force. You guys delete all your plans. Just come to Africa for a second. And my air force that I had here. And they should all be able... Yeah, they can all deploy here now. I think I lost, like... Did I lose all my fighters? I don't know. I want you flying here. I want you flying here. Blow up any East Asian naval units you can find. Because I think that's going to be incredibly, incredibly, incredibly important for us in the future. All of Africa, I think, will fall into our domain given enough time, which I'm happy with. But I don't even want to know how many men are on these other alliances. At minimum, of, at minimum East Asia has more men than we do. So that's a little scary. Doctor review, low life expectancy, cheaper aircraft? No, again, I think I kind of want better aircraft. We lost 17 fighters here. Quite a bit. And the Asian front? Like, do I even want to... I probably don't even want to send troops to Indonesia anymore. I think all of you will need to go for wars in East Asia. And then we can deal with Indonesia afterwards. My four ships get there. Yeah, you might as well just see what's over there. I mean, if we can kill them right away, that'd be nice. Indone Indonesia has actually invaded Japan. That's actually incredible. Thank Indonesia is actually being aggressive against each Asian. You know what? I'm happy with it. I'm here for it. I mean, that actually gets them down. Uh, pretty. That's actually 13% of their victory points taken by Indonesia. I'm actually very happy with that. Thank you. And okay, green and purple are doing great work. How many men do they have here? They have one single infantry on the border. Not impressive. What I actually am going to do is I'm going to send a quick uh, naval scout here. They have nobody in Europe. Oh, okay. Well, that's the case. Um, so, I guess you guys over here... Just sit back for a moment. We'll worry about that in a moment. I'm going to send all of you here first. Look how many planes we have flying over here. It's actually excellent. They have invade immediately, and it's time for invasion of Eurasia. You do see there's some troops, but I doubt it's very many. Also, please cover the entirety of the line here. Thank you. And you're going to invade Europe. The invasion has begun. Be very aggressive. Blue army. You're going to be covering these troops. And you're also going to be... Uh, move troops right here for now. Amsterdam has fallen. 
The war in East Asia has, or Eurasia has begun. But for right now, I think it's going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thanks everybody for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, remember thumbs up. Now, do a thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe and goodbye.